you know, MDVA has been absolutely popping off. We can talk about more more about that later, though, if we need to touch the space, because it looks like we're going to be getting into it soon. We got a crag on deck right now, but just kidding. It's Absa. All right, we're off this moment. I think, yep, we are going to Swampy <laughs> Estuary. Let's go. Such a pretty stage. I do. I, I like the I like the design of it. And already, uh, Vrilgum's getting the first bit of bubble. It's very, it's pretty evenly placed so far, but the very on the tongue might swing thing, things into Cake and Penguin's favor. We'll have to see. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is winner semifinals. Yeah, so, so we, we are, are in top, top eight. Sorry, I didn't mean to steal that from you. No, you're totally fine. I, I was waiting for the moment where we both said it together, like <laughs> synchronized. Oh, it would have been funnier, but so silly. Oh, that oh. down air from uh, Fruit Loops. What a punish! Well, that forward are gonna take the first stock. Oh, whoops. I. You're fine. You're I fine. thought it was down air because it's set down. It, it so. does send down. So I, I understand the sentiment, but the pair in the back air on your teammate. Was not going for a move that'll kill them or leave them head stung for too long. Ooh. Smart from Uda there. And the backer uh, coming out from Gigasol gonna seal out Uda's stock. And Thunderline is on deck here, but not much use of it. Yeah, there wasn't much use of that. Uh, and Down Strong actually took out uh, Gigasol's stock. And I'm really loving these little spacing uh, nares from Uda because they're caught, they're catching the teams off guard. Oh. That up special going to take it off the top. These two are playing very well today. Yeah, I mean, this is very, very impressive. Putting up a fight against the top seed here, but that upper is going to take Fruit Loops. Is the second stock right now, it's even. His Uda needs to be able to make it back in order to keep it that way. And, and he does. Okay. Becker. Uh, Penguin's got a very good edge guardian situation here. Oh, wow, I'm very surprised Udo was able to make it back. I thought Penguin was going to have full control of the left side of the stage, but that is the thing. If you do drift, like, kind of perfectly like, within your recovery, you can make it back to the stage, even if you're in a very precarious situation. It's very. Interesting to see. Speaking of a precarious situation, Fruit Loops is currently finding himself in one, but nice save from Uda. They need to take Cake stock and they need to take it out. Oh no, the Thunderline getting caught too. And now we're in a 2v1 situation here. This is not where you want to, where you want to be. Yeah, this is going to be such an uphill battle. Uh, thankfully, he was able to attack on the platform because if he didn't attack, that would have sent Uda like a little bit farther to the right and it would have put him in a position off stage, which you do not want to be against Kick us all, but yeah. doesn't matter though. Back air from Penguin, gonna seal out that sock. That I mean that was relatively close on game one. Yeah, no, like like for those first two stocks, they were playing phenomenally. He doing a great job of keeping him even unfortunately just like losing those little exchanges here and there. You know, let the uphill battle go into Kick and Penguin's favor. Mm -hmm. And also like those two were just absolutely ready for anything. Like we saw, like I saw a cloud pop from Penguin, and as soon as she popped that kick, just ran in with the down strung for the easy confirm. And we are going to uh, game two on the Spirit Tree, and uh, Fruit Loops oh, is already gone. We are gone. having controller issues. It looks like. Was it controller issues? I don't know. It might have been. Oh. Well, regardless, we're restarting. Okay. Okay. I, it never happened, dude. I thought they were gonna play that out for a second. I'm like that would that would have sucked. Like, nah, they're homies. Who needs All a right. homie stock when you can just restart the game? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Penguin Seal on the edge guard here. Udo off stage. That is a lot of percent racking up on Udo oh. very quickly. And Fruit Loops actually securing the stock off of Kekasol. That was really good core pressure play on the right side because I think Fruit Loops actually caught half of Kekasol's jump. So when you're in that scenario scenarios and uh, when you got the needles coming out, that's actually a really good setup uh, to uh, get the force burn away. So Fruits is still doing it on there, and Fruits off stage now. But Bubbles gonna say Penguin though. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, 
Uda losing his first dodge. I think that first dodge from Cake is, all, is going to be crucial, though, because one thing they were struggling with last game was securing Cake's second stock. Yeah, I know a Penguin in particular likes Spirit Tree, so I was kind of surprised to see this pick. But uh, then again, I mean, we are seeing a lot of adaptations from Uda and Fruit Oops than what we saw in the first game. So they're already looking a lot, a lot better in this game. Okay. Up here, oh, actually, up here gonna kill a uh, penguin off the top. No galaxy or even the red spark. That just like sent right to the ceiling. Well, sometimes you just fumbled the eye. It happens. Right now, with Uder and Fruit Loops in the lead, they could take this game if they play smart enough. Oh my gosh. Nice execution. Dude, that up, that up is so crazy. Now we're in a position again. KSL doing a great job holding on to that stock. That, was, that Ooh, was beautiful. Good awareness from Uda there. I'll try to do it again. <laughs> and they need to secure either the stock on Penguin or get that percent racked up on Cake. It's already up to a good start there. Like I said, these falling nares from Uda have been catching Penguin and uh, KSL every time they're trying to recover back to the center. So Uda's done that every single time, right? Recognizing, all right, you're gonna be right here. I'm gonna fall off Nair so that you get into the sun. And now I have an advantage. Oh, but, but the backer's gonna take both stocks. Oh no. And, and we are again at a 2v1 situation. Same scenario, actually. Uda is in this 2v1. Yeah, choosing to focus on Penguin a little bit, but you can't be, be slacking because Cake is right there breathing down your neck. Oh, and you can't keep the eye in to, uh, or holding in. Oh, this is scary. I thought we were gonna see, I thought we were gonna see back here. Oh, but the parry is gonna be huge, but the cloud saves Cake from getting punished from that dare. Yeah, oh, yeah, caught in the air a little bit. This is where Penguin kind of wants you to be. But back here actually forcing Cake Assault to the right side. Uda trying to secure this deal there, but sending Cake Assault back to center. And Upstrike's gonna do it, and parries oh like a boss! Oh, oh my god! Oh my goodness, I was about to say, this might be one of those situations where you might want to back off a bit and let your teammate cook. Yeah. <laughs> but still, oh my goodness. Oh! Almost got the Dacus there, but I mean, good <laughs> setup. Kegasol offstage trying to get back, to, trying to recover back. That Dacus is still it! Was, that was off of the clone up special, oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... What a hell of a game! Whew! Is all I could say. Whew! <laughs> that was cr that was crazy. That that awareness from Cake is next level, dude. Oh my god! I I, I mean, like even those situations, like uh, like just Udo had good like recognition of where uh, Cake Assault was gonna be, and uh, decided to go for Penguin first, which was a good, good option. Uh, and this was kind of able to be ready with the parry timings. And if you can do all those, combine all those variables together, you're pretty much in the lead to get a good game. However, I mean, Cake Assault steals everything back. <laughs> he always wins. Dude, he's like the... Who's that uh, Who's that bandit guy in uh, Super Mario RPG that gets Malo's uh, frog coin? He's like a purple uh, dinosaur or whatever. Do you know who I'm talking about? Raptor? Something like that? Yeah, but... Basically, King of Soul is that bandit. Because <laughs> <laughs> he will steal everything from you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no, just... My goodness, dude. His awareness is absolutely next level. Yeah, and I think, uh... A good start of the parry into the side beam? What the hell was that? Was a punish off of Dare, and... You know, again, very good. Unfortunately, King's gonna immediately even up that... Stocking. Nice from Penguin. Burning Uda's resources is forcing him into a position where he couldn't recover. Yeah, and that was good spacing too, because you saw um, Penguin actually kind of wait back a little bit and then kick. So that forced, uh, that actually tricked Uda into into jumping, so to lose his other jump. So already good, rec uh, very good resource uh, recognition. Oh, but these backers are coming out. Unfortunately, <laughs> that overextension cost Fruit lose his second stock. Oh. What's the punish? Down strong, not gonna get- Oh, good parry on that cloud! That's already hard enough. 
But yeah, right now, uh, Kegasol and Penguin in the, the stock lead advantage here. Uh, Fruit Loops and Fruit Loops have got to find a way to secure this back. Yeah, no, but they are being forced to play two of the best players in essentially just 1v1 scenarios. So it's very good. It's going to be very hard to come out on top, but it looks like whoever was fighting Cake did manage to, and they're doing a great job of saving oh. each other, too. Yeah, and now we're all on their last stocks. Yeah, this, this is going <gasps> to be rough, though. That percent on Uda and Fruit Loops is very high. Oh, no. And now it's Fruit Loops in this 2v1 situation now. Oh, no. That might be it. <laughs> yep. Unfortunately, there's not much you can do there. Even if you already had ran out of resources while you're trying to recover and you're holding in a certain direction, you can't like reset your uh, you can't reset your hold or whatever like just to get like to get forward in for like into the stage. You're kind of you'll just kind of take the hit. It is what it is. But, but still, they they were playing phenomenally. They, they were. I was very uh, impressed by I was very impressed by their uh, teamwork and kind of like kind of catching. Cake and Penguin in the air a lot. Especially we saw a lot of uh, side Bs from Uda, like halfway like in the air, which kind of helped a lot after again like down strong.